Have you been told you have gingivitis and or gum disease? They both mean the same thing. Have you been told you have gingivitis and you really need to turn things around or you might lose your teeth? I'm going to tell you how you can really turn that around, how you can reverse gingivitis at home by simple brushing techniques using the right toothbrush. And I'm also going to mention ways to clean in between the teeth that does not involve flossing, but that work just as well. Things you might not have heard before. So my name is Andrea and I've been a dental professional since, oh my goodness, since 2005, since I was 19. So I've been in the dental industry for that long. I currently have my own mobile dental hygiene business where I see patients every day. I actually travel mobile to their home. So that's what I do. And I love giving advice. So if you've been told you have gingivitis, in a nutshell, that means you have gum disease. Your gums could be red, puffy, swollen. They could be painful. And you will often notice if you're, um, sorry, if you're brushing or you're starting to floss, the gums are going to bleed a lot. You might have all of these signs or you might have some of them or just a couple. But you, if you've been told you have gingivitis, let me talk to you about the best ways to brush. So you could either use a manual or an electric toothbrush. That's completely up to you, but your brushing technique matters. When you are brushing, make sure to always use a soft toothbrush because if it's not soft, you could be pushing the gums too much and making it worse. There's a fine line. You do have to brush enough that you're actually stimulating the gum so it's kind of waking up and getting cleaned but if you brush too hard you can actually make the gum disease worse so you want to brush that fine line and you want to brush a little bit on the gum and the tooth as well and you want to do it in a circular motion it's true, that's what you want to do. Because if you're just simply going really, really fast, done in 30 seconds, it's not going to work. And when I said to use a manual or an electric brush, that's up to you. I will always suggest an electric brush first, just because that tends to be easier for patients to brush with. They're more excited to brush, if that makes sense, because it's basically doing the hard work for you. And it makes it easier to brush for two full minutes because they typically have timers. That's another key. You need to brush for two full minutes. If you're brushing for 30 seconds, you're not getting that plaque off properly, so your gum disease won't reverse and heal. What gum disease is, is it's basically plaque that has been sitting there too long and it's now starting to go underneath the gums, making the gums swollen and inflamed. Your body's telling you, uh oh, something's wrong when the gums are red, swollen, inflamed, and they start to bleed. When gums bleed, you know something's wrong, but you can reverse gingivitis before you lose the teeth. You can. No matter what any dental professional tells you, I find a lot of dental professionals try to scare you, but I'm here to tell you there is hope. Now, I also want you guys to start to use the water flosser. Either if you're able to floss every day with the string floss or those floss picks, perfect. But if you just can't get into that, use the water flosser. I will leave a link for you down below. Definitely check it out. I love water flossers. You can find them for $50 or $300. I personally have one for $50. I believe it was on sale and it's perfect. I love the cordless water flossers. Use that every day. It literally takes 10 seconds, not two minutes. It takes 10 seconds. There's a high pressure water that's on a tip that you would aim in between the teeth. I do have more videos on my YouTube channel if you wanna see exactly how to, how to use one or just do a search online how to use a water flosser. Tons of videos will pop up. It takes 10 seconds. I personally use mine after I eat every time if I'm home, but at least use it once a day. If you want to also incorporate a mouthwash, perfect. Why not? But the things about a mouthwash is it is only active and helps to kill or inhibit the bacteria for 30 minutes. So it's not as amazing as commercials make it out to be, but it can't hurt. If you like mouthwash, use mouthwash. If you want to brush, use the water flosser and mouthwash. That's perfect. You can reverse gingivitis at home. Now, another point to remember is you won't notice your gums healing immediately. It's going to take a couple weeks, if not more, of doing the brushing, the flossing, the mouthwash, every single day, twice a day. Brush twice a day, 
you can floss and use the mouthwash once a day, but make sure to brush twice a day. Doing those things consistently for two weeks, you will notice a difference. It might take longer though, depending on how advanced your gum disease is. Does that make sense? Feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions, but in a nutshell, you can reverse gingivitis at home. You don't have to lose the teeth. If your gingivitis gets worse, that's called something else. That is called periodontal disease. That's a more advanced form of gum disease. That is where you start to lose the bone support that's holding your tooth in. Gum disease, otherwise known as gingivitis, is the gum around the tooth. But I do explain peri periodontal disease more in another one of my videos. Feel free to do a search if you are interested in that or comment below and I can give you the link for it. Thank you guys for watching. Click like if you liked this video so we can reach more people. I will talk to you guys soon. Let me know of any questions. Bye for now.